Welcome to Fight Watch with Antoine Pinto, international superstar, over a million fans on social media, fashion icon in Thailand. Let's start with my haircut. What do you think? I think it's good. It's pretty, it's pretty cool this time. I was gonna, yeah? I was yeah. going to say, if you're going to criticize my haircut, then I can go after your haircut a little my bit. Hair, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold I like your haircut. Right? It looks good. So what if I said your haircut looked like crap? I said yours is terrible. How, how is my haircut Because it terrible? looks too much like mine. It's like mine, but just longer. It's, it's kind of like yours, but but like a better version of yours. Right. Plus, you're younger. I'm too old to have this haircut. Right. Yeah. I look like right. an idiot. That's right. Okay. Speaking of, let's talk about your dancing. Okay? Yeah. Okay? Before Thai fights, you have dances that you do. I called it a chicken dance, which offended you because you said you were trying to be an eagle. Describe your your Thai fight dance before fights. All right, so so for people who are not educated about Muay Thai, just like my friend right here, it's called it's called Waiku. Waiku, it's it it means it's kind of like paying respect to the trainer. So that's that's like a dance that every fighter has to do. The same before. choreography, the same moves. No, no, it, it, it can be different. There's, there's pretty much like basic moves, but then it, it depends really from like which camp you come from, which part of Thailand you come from, stuff like that. So it, so it really depends. But really it's like a form of, of saying saying like thank you to your teachers and stuff like that. Like the back back like hundreds of years ago, they used to use that because they used to fight on sand. Mm -hmm. So they used to like walk around like the like the, the area that where they, they were going to fight to know like which place was like you know like even know which place they shouldn't walk and stuff like that so but yeah it's it's paying respect to trainers and not a chicken dance but wouldn't it be and, a, and plus but, it if, looks, but if you if you maybe updated a little bit put some like you know some of these in there you know but, that might supposed, help. but that's supposed to be like tr like traditions okay. and looking good and stuff like that you know what i mean so when you watch yourself dance you think you look good i think i look amazing uh so if, at the disco yeah how do you dance? I don't dance like that. Are you a good dancer? I'm, I'm a great dancer. Like you and your brother at a nightclub. If we didn't know, if no one knew who you were, we put you yeah. in a nightclub. Could you guys attract a, a crowd of women? No problem. It's not, it's not like could you. It's like more like how many women I would. You know what I, mean? I like, like that. Now, right now, not only are you a kick-ass yeah. kickboxer, but you're a huge celebrity in Thailand. I've seen you in commercials. I've seen you hosting shows. And now your thing is video games. Yeah. What, tell us what you're doing now. So right now, I just I just built a company, an esport company, where I have about six teams that plays for me now, different games and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So they pretty much play tournaments and stuff for me. And what's the game right now? And, and uh, the game. Well, I'm I'm part of one of the teams. I'm I'm a sub. I'm not the the official player. Like it's like if one of them can't play, I'll play instead of them. I'm pretty good at that game, but they're still better players. So and that game is uh, playing on No Battleground. PUBG is like a shooting game that's mm. very popular right now. So you grew up in France, but you spent most of your life in Thailand. Yeah. When someone says, where are you from, what do you say? Uh, I, I, I still say I'm from France. Like, I, that's, that's where my parents from. Like, I have a French passport, but I live in Thailand. So if France somehow played Thailand in the World Cup final, which team would you cheer for? For what? Which sport? Does it matter? Of course. Soccer. France. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about you in the ring. You've been great. Your last yeah. fight was against Harut Gregorian. I thought it was a Herculean effort on your part because yeah. you were hurt coming into this fight, right? Yeah. Yeah. What happened? It was. It was man. But I mean, like, as 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 any athlete, I don't think we. We usually talk about injuries. I think this is something that we try to avoid, especially on social media and stuff like that, before fights and stuff like that. So I don't ever actually talk about my injuries. And after the fight, once you lost, it's kind of like, you know, you don't you don't need to find no excuses, right? But now it's been a few months, and I guess we're allowed to talk about it now. And, and before the fight, I was, it was actually, it was, pff, this tournament was, was kind of awful. It was probably one of the worst shape I've been in coming to those fights. I, I had, uh, how do you call it? I think it's uh, my the right ligament of my ACL, knee. MCL? Yeah, ACL, ACL, yeah, ACL, and it was pretty bad. Like for for about two months, I couldn't run, I couldn't kick, I couldn't really do anything of what I'm 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 good at. You know, I'm not. But you still fought. Why? I mean, this. I, I to be honest, I canceled a few fights with Glory before that for for a few different jobs, and I felt like. They were kind of getting pissed at me, and if we got to the point that you know, if I cancel this one again, it was going to be bad. So I felt like I this is something that I had to do. And and plus, to be fair, and not to disrespect the other fighters, but I felt like they were not that great. Okay. So I still felt like you know, even being injured and even being like 
thirty percent of what I could do, I could still beat them without you know being in much trouble. Well, you beat Zach Vanell in the in the semifinal yeah, without too much drama. So we're gonna move right ahead to the final yeah. here. It's you versus Haruk Gregorian, yeah. who, who from what everybody says that trains with him says this guy is a killer <laughs> in the gym. What did you think about it? I to to be fair, I didn't think that it was gonna be that great. You know, like technically, I obviously had not much to to show. Uh, I think he's just like a very aggressive fighter. And that's about it, you know, just being aggressive, always putting pressure. So I thought, so you know. When it comes to technique, a simple fighter. Yeah, very simple fighter. But obviously a fighter with a lot of heart and, and heavy punches. But I thought, you know, just that is probably not, it's not going to be enough to put me in trouble, you know. Okay. Yeah. But but again, I, I, I think that I kind of overlooked the first fight. And that guy kicked me in the legs a few times, and my my, my, my legs were kind of sore. And it was, you know, it just made it just made it like even harder for me to, you know, for the for the final. Plus, me not being fit, I think I was like within. You say you're not fit. You're, you're breathing in. We you got an eight pack. What yeah, do you mean you're not fit? Yeah, but but this fit on the outside and this fit in, in the inside, you know, like well, I, I I know what you I, eat. I was, no, the, you like, eat McDonald's all the time. Do you yeah, not? but that, that doesn't that's not the problem. Like. Outside looking good. That's I mean that's I was kind of born to you know like you know that's not gonna. That's, oh really? That's, no matter what, I'll look like that. You know what I mean? But but being fit on the inside is more like you know like how your how is your stamina and stuff like that. Like I was still like in the gym doing stuff every day, but it's like I wasn't pushing myself to the limits like you know until I could. Because I your knee like, wouldn't allow you to. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I just couldn't. All right. And we saw your brother Leo in the corner. What's it like to have your your, your little brother over there cheering we're like, on? We we we're, all, we're always together. You know, there's not a fight that we're not you know in in, in each other's cor corner or at least there. You know, I think he knows me best and I know him best, and it's it's probably better that that I have him or he has me like in his corner. So here's the stare down. Yeah. To be honest, like like my my first fight wasn't hard, but I I know I got I got hurt a couple of times, but I saw his first fight out and I was like, well, he, he must be tired because he, he had a, a pretty a pretty hard first fight. Yeah. It, and he was, was coming off intense. a brutal knockout. Yeah, I know. Brutal knocked out from and, behind. That, and this is also a reason why I said, you know, you know what, this guy, I'm pretty sure if I, if I t tag him in the face a couple of times, he's probably going to fall again because he just got knocked out like like just a few, just a few, few months ago, a few weeks ago. And you can see like the first one, I was like pretty confident. Moving around, I think mm -hmm. it was kind of you know he he didn't dare to like usually he he comes in real hard and I think like you can see just right here he was like guard up and I, I don't think he could find his distance. You see how he's, he's starting pretty slow compared to you, how he usually starts every fight. So the perfect fight for you is just to stay at range the whole time and just pick a guy. Uh, apart. Against this guy, yeah, obviously because because he's you know he likes to come in and brawl and just use like heavy punches. So it was probably better for me to stay off and he also knows how great of a kicker you are so he wants you to use your hands as much as possible yeah exactly in a Muay Thai fight it will be completely different because as soon as he got in I, I could have like clinched him and and you know neutralize all his boxing but obviously in kickboxing you can't do that so I had to try to stay on the outside I assume that's the hardest thing for you about the, the transition from Muay Thai I, I'm, I'm kind of used to it now I mean like the for the first few weeks of training yeah, it was hard but now it's been like it's been over a year now so so now it's it's okay he thought about throwing a back fist right there. yeah I know but you can, you can see I'm, I'm like scoring kicks even mm -hmm. with punches like oh he hit me he hit me right there with the knee See, that's one of the disadvantages about having long hair because every time he hits you and your head snaps know, back, right? it looks know, a lot right? worse than it is. I know. But I think it's 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 kind of like, you know, you, yeah, you, you look bad when you when you get hit, but you look good when the fight is over. <laughs> so it's, you, know, you gotta choose something. I understand. But like, like you, you know, it was actually really hard for me after this fight. Like, even though I, I knew I wasn't 100%, but I, I didn't have that many losses in my career, and it took me like over like a month and a half to to accept the fact that I like I've been beaten. It was really really hard for me. Really? To fight. Yeah. It's like it's like it's stuff that people don't know about, but for me it was like it was really really hard. Nice left hook by you. Yeah. I I, I knew I, I I I touched him a couple of times with my hands as well. So how would you if you were grading yourself right now? How are you doing? That was just trash. It's not even like, like technically. I, I think it's just like I'm just physically off. Even even if I, I I think I'm still winning this round, the first round. But I think like I'm I'm just physically not there. You know, like my movements, my my everything is just not how I usually fight. 
You're probably thinking, why do we pick this fight to show, huh? No, I think I, th I think it's a good thing, you know? Like like I said, looking back at it, it, it taught me a lot of things. Like, I wasn't ready, and again, like, maybe being overconfident and stuff like that, you know? Like, I've been training really hard for for so many months that I thought, okay, you know what? Even even if I'm not 100%, I can probably, like, beat these guys because, like, really, like, they have nothing. So you, you celebrated like you won round one, no problem. Yeah, like that? yeah, I'm 100% I'm confident that I won round one. And especially after this run, I, I was even more confident, like, okay, it's not going to be that bad, you know? Like, like he didn't really show anything, you know? I was Plus expecting... you thought he was tired, so you're like, that was probably exactly. the best he had was exactly. round one. Exactly, and, and every single fight, he, he, he would, like, come up, come out, like, really, really hard in the first round, and I thought if this is the hardest he can fight, then, you know, that's, that's, that's going to be... That's going to be fine. Now, he, of course, would later go on to win the welterweight championship by beating yeah. Grunhardt. When you saw him do that, what did you think? Uh, you know you know what? I think I, when, I, when, I, when I knew they were going to fight each other, I think it was going to be 50-50. I know a lot of people thought that, that Harut couldn't win that fight against Grunhardt, but I think that this guy really has power. And one thing that he showed, especially in this fight, is hard. And he just, you know, when, once he wants it, he just goes for it, so. But you, you see now that he's champion, and obviously you think you're better than him, so yeah. are you thinking, why am I not champion right exactly. now? Exactly. Like, the, to be honest, everyone is this vision. Like, they're, they're trash, man. I don't see nobody that's what? better than me. You know, they're man, all trash. They all, they're, I mean, they're, all of them have, like, really good qualities. You know, some of them, like this guy, he's... He, he's got heart, he's got power. Some other guys have good experience, some guys have been champion. But Grunhardt. I don't see, uh, like, like Grunhardt, he's, you know, he's, he's a heavy boxer, he's got good movements, but, uh, yeah, you see right there? Look how aggressive, right this there. isn't your style right here. The, Look the at you. The thing is that, right oh, there. Oh, you just if, got if caught. We, That's right, yes, Go back it. a second. Like, I knew I, 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 I touched him, I tagged him just before that. And this is why I actually, like, started becoming, you see, I tagged him with the left hook once. Oh, he got you there. And you here, I tagged him here. And you yep. see, he does a little step back. So yep. I knew, okay, he's hurt right here. Oh, that's so right. So I gotcha. went for it, and then he, he got me after that one. Yeah, but you're still coming forward. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get to a point where it's just like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, I knew yeah. I knew, I, I, I didn't have uh, my abilities to do like like what I usually do. Like, I wasn't able to kick. I wasn't able to use much technique. But, but I know one thing that I have is heart. No matter what, yeah, I, I'm not an aggressive fighter because I just choose to fight smart. But it's not that I that I'm scared or that I don't want to. And and I think I showed that in that fight. Yeah, it's just that I at this point I had no choice but to fight with heart. So that's what I did. And it was a, such an exciting fight. But going back, if you were to fight this fight again, you would do it differently. I think to to be honest with with how I was at the time, like how I I, I physically was ready. I think that that's kind of was the only option I had. Like I had to do. I had no other option. But if I if, if we go back at this fight in any other circumstance without me not being hurt like I am right, like I was at, at that time, then I, I think it would be an easy win for me. And I think like... So, so you, you, you're not too impressed with most of the people in this division. Then by, Beside yourself, Harut's coming forward now. Beside yourself yeah. then, who's the best welterweight in the world right now? I think, I think the, <clears throat> for me, I'm, I, like, I like technical fighters, so I think the the second best after me would have to be Cedric Dumbe, but I think his style was still, he wouldn't beat my style anyways. But yeah, you can see, like, you can tell, I think even the, 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 the first fight that I had in glory and then, and then the fight before this one, and now look at me. Like, this is just, I'm just all gone. I'm just trying yeah. to fight with heart, but it's just like. So, as a, as a viewer, I feel like the pendulum swung a little bit, and yeah. you're kind of, you're fighting his game now. Yeah, yeah, of course. But again, like, it's like I had no choice. But, but the thing is that, Whenever I train, like I said before, I'm, I don't just try to train in my game and, and to potential to never like go out of my game. I, I always I always keep in mind that something something like this might happen and I, I might have to go play their game and I still want to be better at their game. Yeah. So it's not like in my head I'm not I'm not like yeah I'm lost like I'm I'm, I'm fighting his game and and. And you know, I don't know what to do. I knew what I had to do, even though I was fighting his game and I was training my so best. So if I'm your brother Leo in the corner right now, I'm saying, look, you try to fight his style. Yeah. You won the first round, he won the second round. For round three, let's go back to our style, stay outside, and let's just pick him apart and win the fight. Nah, he, he knew he, he knew I, I couldn't go back and fight in my style. He knew that's why I was fighting this way. Like, he knew since the end of the first round, like, I wasn't moving like I usually do. So you're like, my knee's hurting, brother. Yeah, he knew, he knew it already. Yeah, he, he could tell already. You know, we have this thing, like, we don't really need to, like, Tell each other. We can just tell by movements. Oh, Look at this shot right but there. you had him. You just yours didn't catch a yeah, flush. Yeah, it was just yeah, it was pretty. But bad. you stood up to that punch. Yeah, that was hellacious. Yeah, 
But yeah, he's just telling me, you know, you know what, we're here, we're, like we're here right now. You gotta, you didn't knock him out, so you just gotta go for it. You know, we don't got a choice no more. It's not like I can choose and you know fight smart and stuff like that. I think I got first round. He got the second round. To me, I think it was it was about who was gonna get it this round. But he knew I I, I didn't have the abilities to you know play technical and then just try to move around. So it was just so, like so then why did this nothing? Why did this loss hurt so bad for a few weeks when you were when you think about hey I didn't even have a chance to fight at a hundred percent? Because no matter what, no matter what, you know, there's no excuses. I, at the end of the day, I took the fight and it, and you know if if I, if I felt like he couldn't win at all, then I shouldn't have taken taken this fight. You know, so I still went in that fight thinking I, I can still beat this guy even though I'm not a hundred percent. Matter of fact, in my head, it's not like I'm not a hundred percent. You know, like I I go into the fight thinking I am a hundred percent. You know, I'm a hundred percent confident that I can beat him. But so yeah, you when you're stumbling backwards, it's more of your knee hurting more than you being tired. No, no, no. It's like it's it's a little bit of everything. You know, like stamina being off because of of you know me not being able to train properly. My legs were hurting, and obviously he he you know he tagged me a few times. Boy, it had to be a really good shot for him to hurt you there. All right. <laughs> you were waiting for something like that. Look at you. You were waiting for something like that. God damn, this guy. Hey, come on. It's a low blow. All right. <laughs> Literally. But you're back on your feet. You're ready to go. Still a I, close round here. I, I, I was trying to, like, throw a few kicks here and there, but you could see, Ooh. like, there was no power in there, you know? Boy, are you surprised at his stamina, though? I mean, look at him. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. I, I didn't expect for him to, you know, to, to be able to come back so so hard. But again, once you tag someone, you you know, you, you get kind of like a second, you know, a second win that helps you to, you know, try to finish him. But I, I still felt like I did pretty good with knees and stuff like that. Like I was, I was still working. You know, he wasn't like completely outworking me. But it's just like, I had no power in there. Like I saw, I think I still had a, a few good shots and and like movements was. Kind of good sometimes, like head movements and stuff, but... So, but with a minute left to go here, roughly, you still have a chance to win this fight. Are you thinking, yeah. I got to knock him out, though? I'm just, you know, I'm just in there. I'm just trying to, you know, do what I can. Work as much as, oh. as, much as I can. And, well, and, again, and again, whenever I was doing something, he would just come back even yeah. stronger, you know? And I think that if it wasn't him and he wasn't like like fighting at like as hard, I, I probably could have come like came back and, and, and win this fight. Well, he's not letting you even have time to breathe. You know, yeah, exactly. you land a shot on him but, and he but, throws but three. But he did, did, he did exactly what he had to do. You know, like like I, I think he was lucky that I wasn't a hundred percent. But if you if you just look at the way this fight is, he 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 just had the perfect game plan. You know, he just did exactly what he was supposed to do. I will say though, just from your first fight in Glory to now, to this fight, I yeah. noticed a big improvement in your boxing. Yeah. Again, I, I think like my boxing has never really been that like bad, but it's just that I've, I've never felt like I actually need to use it because I was so comfortable using kicks and stuff like that. But, but, mm. but matter of fact, this fight, I, I had no choice. I just had to right. go for it. You can see me there. Like, I'm not even there anymore, but it's just like, like hard keeping me up. Like, no matter what, I'm, I don't care. I ain't going to go down. No matter right. what, I'm, I'm standing right there. You're a, tough guy. You're a tough guy, man. No doubt about it. I bet you won more fans in glory with that performance than anything else. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. You know, because people thought of you as the smooth talking trash yeah. guy who's going to stick and move and like yeah. sort of like Doom Bay. But yeah. this this fight you showed that yeah. you can you can brawl. It, it was probably a good fight for the fans, but again, like uh, as an athlete, you go in there to win, you know. And mm -hmm. whenever you don't get the win, then it's it's really hard. It was really 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 hard. Like I, honestly, I was I was I I didn't step in in the gym for about like a month. It was, it was really hard for me to like get over it. So people watching this right now should should realize that you're never gonna fight like this probably again. They should enjoy this performance because you're not doing this again. <laughs> no, you never know. L like I said again, you, it, it's not the first time in my career that I that I had to fight this way. You mm -hmm. know, like and 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 I think that to be honest, me if I was a little bit fitter than this, even fighting this way, I could still beat this guy. I believe that even fighting the the hard way, I can still beat all of them, you know, because even fighting the hard way, I, I, I'm still smarter than them and I still got, you know, better movements than them. It doesn't mean that I always have to fight on the outside and just, you know, escape from, from fighting, but yeah. So you said see. you might want Doombe. Who else might you want? I mean, let's 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 see you put these words into action. People want to see you back in there. I, I, I think like a rematch against her would be like a, a good fight. People would probably want to watch that fight because obviously this fight was, 
was was a good fight. And I think like maybe me against Dumbe. I to be honest, one guy that I'd like to fight is Nikki because I, I I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm like a fan of what he's achieved in in glory. I think he's the only guy who's been a champion for that long and and that has won so many fights. And I think he he's got a good style. And plus, I think he's got an easy style for me to beat, so it'll be even even better. Well, wherever, whenever, whoever, can't wait yeah, to see it. It don't really matter. Thank good luck you. to you. Thanks Thank for being part of Fight Watch. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I was just watching Glory kickboxing videos on my phone, and you can watch more too. Just make sure you like, share, and subscribe below.